do this, Jessica. Let's do this. This is Jessica here. So I'm here with another product review for you today. And um, one of my lovely, lovely, lovely friends um, sent me something on my Amazon wish list. <laughs> my very first set of Morphe brushes. Now, if you don't know about Morphe, I don't know where you've been, but um, if you're watching this video, you should know about Morphe. This that I got, I got it from Amazon. Like I said, came from my wish list, and this is one of their travel sets that they have. Um, and don't mind them. I use them today to do my makeup, so if they're a little bit dirty, are the ones I got are vegan free, and the they're synthetic. And they are so amazingly soft. They feel like IT Cosmetic brushes. Because my mom has a couple of IT Cosmetic brushes. And I feel like that's what they feel like. They're just so soft and velvety. And uh, it's a dream just to put it on your face. So I'm going to go through the pros and cons of this morphe brush travel palette um i love the case that it comes in it's like a snake skin case and this is amazing for travel since it is a travel case um but it's kind of like every brush that you need to do your makeup when you are traveling so that is a definite plus about this um I can say the only thing I don't like about this is on the actual brushes, it does um, it does say Morphe, but on all of the Morphe brushes, you know, they have the number of the brush, so you know what brush number it is. These don't have the number on it, and that's the only thing I don't like about these brushes, you know, because like... If you're watching um, a makeup artist on YouTube or whatever, and they're like, oh, I'm using Morphe brush M325, what? Well, how are you going to know what it is if there's not a number on here? That's the only thing I don't like about these. So I went online onto Morphe.com and I kind of looked up the brushes because it had a description of the brush but not the number so I just kind of picked the number that I thought was closest to the brush in this case flat foundation brush and it is number B85 or the closest one I could get to it and this is a foundation brush I personally don't like to use this as a foundation brush I would much rather use my beauty blender or like um, elf has a small stipple brush that is good for doing foundation or even the um, the flat top one that came in this case I just feel like you're just like painting it on and I'm not I'm not really down with that so um, I mean, if I ever go to cream contouring, because I only use powders for my contour, but if I ever did go to cream contour, I could use this, you know, to, you know, put my cream contour on. The Angled Blush Brush. And I believe this is number B78. Um, and this is supposed to be like a bronzer slash blush brush to do my contour today like sometimes I'm like what's the difference between contour and bronzer like I feel they're the same in a way but I don't know uh I liked it I probably would use this more as a blush brush um because it has a really good angle to it and um it's really soft 
super super soft tapered powder brush number m110 and this is just you know to apply you know your powder or you can use this to if you're baking use it to dust off any fallout or powder and this is the flat bronzer brush um i use this to apply my foundation today and I have to say, I really liked it. I feel like if you have a foundation that is more like full coverage, you don't want to use this, like use your beauty blender. But if you have like a CC cream or a BB cream or like a moderate or a light to medium full coverage, this will work really good because I use it to do my foundation today and... I liked it, you know, and I usually use my beauty blender. Um, they say that you can use this to contour, which I mean you could, but I feel like I'm going to be using it for when I use my CC cream or like a lighter foundation. And it, it's a flat top and it's really dense and it's dense in a way, but then it still has room to move. This next brush is the Chisel Fluff Brush number B15. And I feel like you could use this. I mean, it didn't say what you could really use this brush for, but I feel like you could use this to do your concealer. Um, you know, I don't use concealer right now because I feel like my foundation does really good, but I've been noticing, you know, I'm getting more lines under my eyes, and it's time to start covering up the bags, Jessica. So, um, but this would be a really good concealer brush. Next brush is the Oval Flat Brush number E32, and it also says this, that this is a concealer brush. Um, I did not use this as a concealer brush. I used it to pack on my eyeshadow today, which the eyeshadow I'm wearing on my lid, it is from Carity Beauty, and it's one of their single eyeshadows, and the color is Mary Jane. You can use this as a concealer brush, um, but I like it to just pat on my eyeshadow on my lid. This one it is the Soft Fan Brush. This one has multiple things you could do with it. You could use it to do your highlight. I'm not much of a highlight girl since I'm pretty pasty white. Uh, I have Welsh, Scottish, and German in my blood. So the Native American is like, we're barely hanging on here. So, um, but Jeffree Star, on a side note, Jeffree Star Cosmetics is coming out with some highlighters and one of them is for us white girls. I can't wait to get it. Um, but you can use this as a highlight. You could use this as a brush to get fallout or to when you're baking to dust away the baking or to snatch that nose to um, contour your nose. So this brush has lots of different purposes. This it is the round crease brush number E18 and this is for your eye for the crease and for blending. I used it to do my transition color and the crease color today. I feel like it did a good job. It's soft enough. It's small enough to get into that crease and um, yeah this is this is a good brush. Because I personally feel like the staple of really good eye makeup is a really good crease brush or blending brush and a transition color. Last brush is the angled liner brush. Um, I couldn't find a number for this on Morphe's website, but um, I don't really know when I'll be using this brush. Because I could use it to do my um, to do my eyebrows. I could use it to do the inner highlight in the corner of my eye. I could highlight the arch on my brow. Um, I will. I know I'm not going to use it as an eyeliner, 
because the eyeliner I use has a brush in it and I just feel like this is too soft to for me to use it as an eyeliner um but definitely i will use it to put color um under my bottom eyelash definitely will use it for that all the brushes that came in this wonderful little travel packet i love this set the brushes are so soft and it feels like velvet going on your skin and they work with the makeup really good of course Different quality makeup will not work with the brushes depending on the quality of the makeup. If you have cheaper makeup, it may not cling to the bristles. That's with anything, you know. What I don't like about this is it doesn't have the numbers on the brushes. This is an awesome travel case for brushes where I won't have to, you know, bring all these other brushes because I'll have everything right here. That's my review on this Morphe traveling brush set. As always, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below because I love talking to you guys. And if there are other videos that you want to see me do or other reviews, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to get updated when I upload a new video to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching. Bye! My hair is a hot mess. That's what I get for cutting it, and that's what I get for living in Southeast Texas. That's a tongue twister. Um, bronzer blood. Bronzer brush. Bronzer brush. <laughs> that is my review on this Morphily. Morphily? Morphily? Morphily. <laughs>